Okay, so after learning our transverse wave, the next topic will be sound wave, which is a longitudinal wave. So what is a longitudinal wave? Longitudinal wave just means uh, if I have a wave, right, a vibrating source, for example, drum, tuning for or vocal cords, this will cause the oscillation of the particles to be in parallel to the wave travel. So for example, if I have a wave here, right, so the wave is traveling towards the right-hand side. So the air particles in between will oscillate to and fro. Uh, so this is what I call a longitudinal wave. Right? So just remember for longitudinal wave, you will need a medium for the wave to propagate. Uh, so for example, if you are in a space, right, in a vacuum, the sound wave will not travel. Right? So some of the distinctive features of a sound wave is the series of compression and rarefaction. Uh, so what is a compression? Compression as uh as from the word right is actually all the particles are compressed together and this will result in the increased air pressure. Uh, so for the normal air pressure actually is uh, roughly la, one multiplied by ten to the power five pascal. So in the region of compression, the compression uh, actually has maybe 1.5 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 pascal. So that is the meaning of increased pressure. So what about rarefaction? Rarefaction is where the particles are not clustered together. So uh, looking at this picture, right, the particles are very spread out or are spread out quite further apart. So this will result in decreased pressure. So the decreased pressure will be roughly maybe 0 0.5 multiplied by 10 to the power 5 pesco. Alright, so that is the meaning of compression and rarefaction. Okay, so how is sound being transmitted from one point to the other point? So okay, so uh, consider we have a tuning fork. Uh, so the sound is produced by vibrating sources such as a tuning fork. When the vibrating object moves outwards, right? So this tuning fork will oscillate. Uh, so will oscillate uh two and of course four, right? right? So when the uh tuning fork oscillate outwards, this will actually cause all the particles to compress together. So this is known as your compression. Uh, so for example, if I draw the three particles, uh, so this is the center of the compression. So the center of compression I just draw with a dotted line. Then after that, the neighboring particles will compress towards the center. Uh, so that is the meaning of compression. So the next part will be if the tuning fork is moving inwards, this will actually cause the air particles to be put apart. Uh, so this is known as your rarefaction. So if I draw the center of rarefaction right here, so this is the center of rarefaction and I draw a dotted line. Right? So the particles, the neighboring particles of this center of rarefaction will move away. So for example, I draw uh, outwards and after that I draw here. Right? Uh, so that's the meaning of rarefaction. So this will actually cause a series of compression and rarefaction and energy is being transferred away from the source via collision of adjacent particles in the medium. So that is how you can uh, describe how sound wave travel from one point to the other point.